Sounds like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back welcome to back. game number 18. 20 if you count the two recasts. That's true. We are back. We are back. This is the last game, guys, so make sure, if you're watching this on YouTube, to go on the giveaway link in the description of this video and sign up. I will be picking some winners the next day after this drops or so. So I might give you 48 hours, but it'll probably be a day. So make sure that you go and sign up for your chance to win some swag. And if you're watching this on the stream, make sure to type an exclamation yord, sign up on the giveaway, and exclamation giveaway, sign up on those giveaways, as we're going to be picking a winner very, very shortly. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Here we are on Frozen Temple. Mr. Maximus Black. Yes, sir. Hit me up with the sound of walking out onto your front porch since it's, you know, the middle of May, but you're in Canada and you realize you just walked out into a giant frozen tundra. Fuck, it's cold. Woo! Woo. That's pretty much life here. It you, is think, you think it's over? You put your snow, sho you know, you put your, sh your shovels away, you put your boots and your pants away. You know, you got that, if you're like me, you got, you, you got that special place you put your, all of your snow removal equipment. And then you wake up one morning and you look outside and there's another foot of snow on the ground. Today, it was, uh, I was out yard sailing looking for some video games. I'm now collecting retro games, shoutouts to my P.O. Box. And, uh, didn't really see anything of retro-ness, but I did pick up some, I got a PlayStation 1. Yes. Uh, one of the minis. Two controllers, memory card. Uh, a Mario... Some Mario Nintendo DS game, Donkey Kong for original Game Boy, Dragon Ball Z for Game Boy Advance, and another Game Boy Advance game. I think it was Digimon or some shit. Um, and a PS2. And an actual Nintendo uh, DS Lite. 40 bucks. Pretty good. It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Yeah. Indeed. Oh, seven games. PS2 oh, games too. Oh right, yeah, you get the you get those PS2 games, including the Black Label uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Let's go. Which is, you know, we all know it's one of my favorite games. So anyway, time. when I was out, I was trying to make a point. It was actually kind of cold out. It was like, in comparison to what we've been having, because we had like a really nice week. It was probably like maybe eight degrees outside. Mm. While we were downstairs casting, uh, I went up when I went up to get some balls of water. It was 19 degrees out. It Damn. was it was literally it was foggy and rainy and shit today. Sun came out 19 degrees. Damn. Yeah. It heated up quick. Kayla had a uh, back patio door open. Thor's just chilling on the patio. It's like birds are chirping. I thought it was supposed to rain today. It did this morning, but now apparently it's sunny. Well, what a, who am I kidding? Like putting faith in the weather people. Nova Scotia. If you guys haven't been here, if don't you, come. If you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes. It'll change. Uh, well, we have yet another Zerg that is proxying a hatchery. Well, at least this one's against a Protoss. Yeah, it works a little better. A little better, but a little slow because the cannons are already up and he's not going to really be able to push forward with those uh, spine callers unless he has like three queens. Yeah. These two cannons are going to do work and he's got a mothership core as well to do Let the, the overcharge. Yep. Uh, there's just, there isn't even a chance in hell that the Zerg breaks this unless he gets some of the most ridiculous bios off and he is just god tier at what he does. That, that's that's the show. At this point, Zerg needs to be focused on macroing behind this. Why did, why did he just throw a Zealot and a possible Stalker <laughs> into that? Well, he does have a Robo here, so hopefully he goes and grabs a Warp Prism. Wow, that was a... Uh, okay, he was trying to get rid of that pylon. Oh, there's, oh, there's some, the Ravagers. There's some bile, oh, throws some bile there. The mixtape. Gonna get one down. Still gonna be really tough to uh, to get up here. He's still got the sentry. Still got enough for another overcharge. Oh, he needed to be. Oh. He's got an immortal coming. Second spine crawler goes down. He's gonna he's gonna lose that. That's no, no 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 no. no. Oh. He really oh, did not want to wow. lose that sentry. Uh, he, not only that, he lost his mothership core. Well, that too. Actually, that is okay, because he can build another one immediately be able to do another overcharge. If not, he'd have to wait longer than what it takes to actually build another one. Yeah, but he doesn't have much for... I guess he... Well, He's I, on one base regardless, He doesn't have but, much for units to stop the madness But right see, now. if that sentry was still alive, that's uh, a force field right there, and that's exactly. a bad time for the Zerg. Exactly, but that's not what's happening, and now he's going to put up with some Ravagers and some, uh, some Roaches, but he does have enough. That Immortal is going to be putting in the most work right now. 
If that immortal goes down, it's pretty much a, a, an easy go here. No way that immortal is going down. That immortal is just a hero here, just destroying everything. That might be game over. I dude. need a hero. Actually, he's grabbing. He's grabbing a ninja. So I still think we got a game on our hands. I don't think it's over yet necessarily. I mean, uh, Jepsy's put in a lot of uh, uh, of resources into this as well. Uh, the immortals are definitely the hero units here for sure. But uh, depending on, I mean, maybe. Maybe Jeffsy doesn't know what's going on behind this, and he just gives the Zerg time, which has happened a lot. Well, the Broodlings come out, the Zerglings at the same time. It's going to do a bit of damage. You might get one Immortal off this. Nope, doesn't even oh, get that. that Stalker on one health, dude. Yeah. That one health Stalker dream. It's pretty BM. With five kills. It's pretty BM. Oh, man. Well, he's going to get a little bit of information with this Zergling, at least. He's just confirming that he's dead. Yeah, he's confirming. That's all that is. He's, con he's confirming his demise right now. That's all that is. I mean, at this point, yeah, all, all Protoss has to do is maybe one, one, more, uh, one or two more units and warp himself in some, and that's exactly what he's going to do. And I don't know, uh, has, has, has Thorson been... Building anything at home? No. Well, you got a okay. ninja up here, but nothing's happened back here. As no, soon as he walks up this no. ramp, it's pretty much GG. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much rip. He's gonna try and get some spine crawlers. I, I don't think that's gonna help him much here. He only has a couple of zerglings. Uh, no roaches to his name. Not that it matters anyway, because there are immortals on the field, and here comes pain. Uh, I went to a storage wars today. Was it actually like called the Storage Wars, or they, was it just they, like an they, auction? They called it Storage Wars, oh, but it wasn't a, it wasn't like a real, it wasn't being filmed or right. anything. But it was, it was just like the, uh, just like what you see on the show. Okay, did you get anything? Nah, I mean there was one uh, locker that I was interested in, and it only went for uh, forty bucks. Wow. Uh, it was a smaller locker. It was probably about the size of my closet back there. Okay. Uh, but it had. All you could see because you're not allowed to go through anything. You, no, you, you only just, can just look at yeah, like what's look visible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but they had like three, you know, those old milk crates. Uh, you know, used to delivery the milkman yeah, used yeah, to yeah, deliver yeah, in. Yeah, you yeah, know, the back in school they used to have those. Yeah. There was like three or four, actually four of them, filled with Disney movies. Oh wow! So I assumed that, and we're talking about anywhere from 100 to 150 Disney movies easily. Right. Uh, but I assume that there might have been video games and shit in there because it was like a kid's locker. It was, it was like um, all kinds of like, you know, young kid stuff. Kids grew up and the parents put it in storage. Pretty much. Uh, so I was interested in it. And then as the betting was going on, I just kind of pussied out because I didn't want to have to lug everything. Like right. I just had my small car there. I didn't want to call dad. I knew we had to do this tournament. Just would have been a pain in the ass. Like, I would have had to take everything off the premises uh, by 5 o'clock, and, you know, it is what it is, so. You let it go. I let it go. You let and it go. And it went for $40. That is a pretty good deal. I mean, even if you took those. If you took the movies alone, it's worth $40. Yeah. Well, and then there was other stuff, right? You could probably sell those movies for a buck a piece. Oh, yeah. that's Well, that's what the thrift store sells them for. Yeah. You know, so. But it is what it is. I Meanwhile, let it go. Meanwhile, this is continuing to devolve for our Zerg player as he is slowly killed off. You know, I on, on my way home, this is this is the kind of messed up mind that I have. All right. Okay. I, I'm I'm very I'm a weird person all even right. when I'm not casting. All right. I'm interested in where so this is going. So I'm on my way home. All right. Just like this guy Thorzen is on his way home to the to the Deathland. GG here. That was a beautiful force field, by the way. And this well element is just having fun. So I'm on my way home, and you know I get a little weird sometimes. I, I talk to myself, I chuckle, I, I I giggle at my own little jokes that I tell myself. <laughs> okay. And I'm going, you know what I really should do when I get my spy glasses? I should go to these auctions because they have them like usually like once a month. Right. I should go and record myself betting on lockers, but just doing the most ridiculous sounds when I when I bet. What? So I'm in the car driving home on the bridge. I shit you not, and I'm going, yip yip, I'm just doing all these different types of noises. Okay. Thinking about which one would be the funniest. Okay. Interesting concept. And that was the conversation that I had with myself on the way home. Possibly a good way of getting yourself thrown out of those auctions. Yeah. <laughs> but I just thought it would be funny. Well, it might you know? be hilarious. Just and having everybody just look at me like, what the fuck? Just hey, 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 hey. Wait, go back to the go go back to the go to the chat in this game. Did he just say that? Go, go. Piece of shit, nice hacking. Yeah. Well done. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a f another phenomenal game. I'm glad we got a couple of good ones well, in yeah, here. Yeah, we, we probably got about four to five. This we had was... like four good games and one that we I, I think we crushed as a, as a cast. But, yeah. Uh, everything else, pretty shit. That's, that's cool. Standard. I think, you know what, that was, I think that was better than our last oh, batch. Oh, hell yeah. By, by miles. The last batch was just... By miles. God awful. So there you go. But uh, big thank you to everybody that watched this uh, marathon here. Um, if you're watching on the stream, don't go anywhere because we're about to do a giveaway. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, once again, the giveaway link is in the description. We want to thank you very much uh, once again for the continued uh, support and love. Uh, shout outs to Yord. For uh, being the lone sponsor this month, hopefully next month we'll. Uh, Yord, Yord just doesn't drop it. Yord just says, "You know what, boys? They hold on to the ball. You know what, boys? Get it done. Father's Day, here's twenty dollars off. Get it done. Spread the word. So that's what we do. We spread the gospel. Uh, but yeah, that's the show. We will see you guys next month. Uh, probably gonna aim for the second weekend of June because I'm going to Montreal at the end of the month." And then usually when I come back, I go into straight like streamer grind mode to make up for lost time, uh, and that'll give me time as well to uh, to get some other stuff on board. I know Chairs for Gaming says they want to get on. I think that'll be a great one for everybody, um, and I can demonstrate the perfect fap chair. But that'll be for the next time. You gotta wait for that. Mm, you gotta wait for it. You gotta wait for it. It's something special. Uh, but yeah, that's the show. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next month. Peace.